What up, YouTube? Welcome back to the YouTube channel, people. My bird, Duchess, is gonna make noises in the background, so ignore him if you hear him. Well, okay, I know I'm gonna get judged on this video, but uh, at least I'm trying. Yeah, today's video might make you like cry or maybe you'll laugh at me. I'm hoping you'll, you'll laugh and not cry, but it might happen. As you can probably tell from the thumbnail, I'd like to introduce you to my emergency toolkit that I carry with my ninja. Uh, ooh, I'm proud of this one. Yeah, this is what I came up with about two years ago when I decided to carry an emergency toolkit in my bike. This too. I also had a rag. This is a state-of-the-art emergency toolkit. It doesn't get better than this. It really doesn't. So I'm here with you today because I'm obviously looking for advice, okay? Help a damsel in distress out. Uh, I wanna show you what's in here, so I'll lay them out and we'll, um, we'll discuss. Welcome to my expertly set up display area for these things. Okay, so we have a rag. The rag's not in there because I, I didn't put it with that. It just stayed separate, but the rag, the rag is good. Uh, a spare fuse, this is a 30, 30. This is a 30, 30 spare fuse. I have, um, okay, I've got a bolt or a screw, whatever. A nut, uh, I think I had more than that, but as you can see, there's a giant, there's a giant hole in this bag and it doesn't close on this side either. It's just ripped. So really this is just two pieces of plastic that I have shoved things in between. Let's dump the rest of it out. These are some zip ties from uh, I think like it was a gift I had gotten for Christmas that was wrapped. I think it might have been this. This was pajamas. A pajama gift set came wrapped up with these little twisty ties like the gold. They're kind of nice. And I was like, you know, these would. Oh, wait. Okay, get away. These would have a great use in my emergency toolkit. Why not? So I like stuck them in there. That was great. Let's chill together. Okay, there we go. So we got the two emergency. Three. Three. I stuck three of them in here. They're just bendy and nice. I've got a tiny uh, zip tie, a slightly larger zip tie. Uh, all right, we've got one bungee cord and a slightly sturdier bungee cord, another small zip tie, and a second slightly larger zip tie, as well as a bundle of rope with a handy dandy rubber band wrapped around it. Yep, that's, that's the current situation with my emergency toolkit. So yeah, that's what we're working with. I think the intention was definitely there. The execution, it leaves much to be desired. I'm asking for advice because I want to improve uh, the state of my emergency toolkit. So if you guys could tell me in the comments what you would recommend I add or take away, um, there's not much to take away. I'm thinking something along the lines of like basic repairs I can do on the side of the highway. If I get a hole in my tire, if some nut or bolt falls off, like the rider, what tools I could have handy, like kind of just fix minor problems. Uh, keep in mind, I'm working with, I'm working, let's just take the whole tripod, okay. It, 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 it was here, okay? It was right there, under the pillion seat. There is not a lot of space under the pillion seat in a Ninja 250 or like really any sport bike. So I'm thinking I'm gonna hit you with like a part two video. This is gonna be part one. I'm gonna try to fix my emergency toolkit. Read your suggestions and then hit you with part two and uh, see if we did uh, any better. We'll do like a before and after. So that's all I got. Please leave some suggestions. Bye! Wow, wait, what, what were you gonna do with these two? <laughs> like, screw you together.